This portion is brought to you by MarketLink Web Solutions. Promote your business online from branding to ROI. For inquiries, visit www.marketlinkwebsolutions.com. His passion for web design started back in college. From there, there was no stopping this would-be technopreneur from pursuing this passion. In 2008, came up with a technopreneur business named MarketLink Web Solutions. And the rest, as they say, is history. Let's keep our passion burning as we listen to the story of this young founder and CEO. Very important talaga, number one, is yung passion natin eh. No? Before putting up a technopreneur business. During my college years, nakita ko na passion ko is really into web design. During that time, parang may mga web design project kami. And then, ayun, doon ko nakita na parang very interesting ang web design. So, but first, before ako nag-move sa web design, I am into graphic design first. And then, transition to web design. Way back 2008, I started this uh, MarketLink web solution as a domain name muna. So, yung pinaka-first domain name namin is um, www.philippineswebdesigning.com And remember, that's just freelancer website. And during that time, I'm working in three jobs. No? So first, uh, I have a corporate job working in a call center. And then second, I'm teaching American accent. And then third, yung passion ko, web designing. Ayan. So, doon nagsimula yung market link. We only started like uh, only few customers. Siguro there are time na in three months, I only got one client. Oo. And then siguro in 2008, in total, I only have around five customers. No? But um, as we progress, nakilala na rin siya. That time, hindi eh. Hindi ko nakita yung sarili ko na parang to put up a web design business. Parang before, it's just a pure hobby and passion. Lahat naman ng business eh. Ang daming struggles, you know? So, um, in my situation, way back 2008 to present, ang daming mga struggles na nangyari. First, syempre, yung clients, no? Ang hirap sa una to get your brand. Yung brand awareness, lalo na kung nasa internet marketing ka, nasa web design business, ang hirap mag-start ng business kung wala ka pang mga sample clients, testimonial from clients, wala kang mga proven result from your client, satisfaction nila. Pag wala kang ganun, ang hirap mag-start eh. Yun, yung pinakamahirap sa una is to build your reputation online. Tapos, syempre, um, while doing that, you have to invest money, di ba? Hindi naman uh, lahat eh talagang wala kang money involved. So, meron. Meron at meron siya. So, may mga time na talagang wala ka ng uh, capital or wala ka ng revolving fund to operate your business. So, yun yung mga na-encounter namin in the past. But, if you have a positive attitude in this kind of business and you are really determined for success, Kahit ano pang struggle yan, ano pang challenges in life, if you are always positive, um, there will be uh, a solution. We should uh, love what we do. Kasi ito talaga yung um, key success for us to become successful. Kailangan itong ginagawa natin, mahal natin. Di ba? Ito lang yung way para mapakita natin sa mga customers natin, sa mga client natin, na itong ginagawa natin is something na makakatulong sa kanila for their success. It's really a must na passion natin, yung business natin, love natin yan. Up next! For me, no, ang definition ng technopreneur is a combination of technology plus entrepreneurship. If you merge website plus business, it will form a technology-based firm.
This portion is brought to you by MarketLink Web Solutions. Promote your business online from branding to ROI. For inquiries, visit www.marketlinkwebsolutions.com. For me, no, the definition of technopreneur is a combination of technology plus entrepreneurship. If you merge website plus business, it will form a technology-based firm and business. And so, dun sa, sa simplified version ng entrepreneurship, it's different from dun sa technology entrepreneurship. Actually, they are very much similar, but um, it's only technology-based. Like, for example, ano ba yung mga technology? Yung paggamit ng internet, na paggamit ng mga computer, and then uh, mobile phone. So, mostly, uh, we rely on the use of those technology, like social media, di ba? Comparing dun sa mga uh, traditional na business, talagang physical. Kami, more on virtual. pros no, na first ng technopreneur is um, something to do with visibility. Eh. Kasi if we use technology-based um, media or platform to our business, mas talaki yung coverage ng business. Like example, in digital marketing. Diba? Um, through the use of internet, uh, we can be seen 24-7 worldwide. While the traditional base uh, business, kanyari, if you have a store um, along a, a highway or a street, ang nakakita lang sa iyo is someone yung mga dumadaan lang within the area. No? While if you are have presence online, then definitely you will be seen 24/7 anywhere anytime. If you have a social media account, people can see you, can see your ads, your products anytime. Diba? So Yun yung mga pros if you have an online base or if you combine technology and entrepreneurship. While yung cons naman, ang nakikita ko cons dito, kasi we mostly rely on technology. What if those technology didn't exist at all? Example, walang internet. Di ba? Sira yung computer mo. Walang power. Those are the difficulties na may encounter natin. But it's very minimal nowadays. Anyone can be a technopreneur. Um, what you only need is an idea, a brilliant idea, an idea na unique. No? It should be unique, na hindi uh, possible, siguro hindi pa siya existing, or something na um, ito talaga yung gusto mo. And then, um, the good thing about this is the investment involved is very minimal. I am Dr. Christopher Dayagdag, the CEO of MarketLink Web Solutions, and I'm loving what I do.